Generic greetings, and that Boeing 767 was spinning around for a second there. Weird. Anyway, in the previous episode, we managed to get another gate put in, as you can see, as well as all of the supplementary stuff, so the benches and the food vending, uh, the, the queues, things like that, and just generally progressed on quite well. As you can see from our schedule, we've got generally two flights coming in at each time, but not more than three, apart from right at the end where we can technically have three at the same time, but the this one is really for overflow, so say if any flight is delayed, then it will happily land there. That's what that one is actually for. So, I also asked at the back end of last episode, what would you like to... Did that just teleport? I'm sure that... I'm sure that uh, baggage card teleported. What would you like to do in terms of expansion? We could go for another gate. It'll be the large gate, however. Or we could go for bigger baggage or bigger ticketing or go for a cafe, things like that. And there's a lot of comments, but to be honest with you, um, one or two did mention a couple of things that we really should probably get onto at some point because they've mentioned the status and if you look at here, if we go to yesterday, we can see that we've got loads and loads of uh, things scheduled and most of them departed but one of them was cancelled due to the problem being the runway. So the, the runway was... Um, too packed essentially there was too much stuff taking off and leaving so someone said why don't i build another runway because we'll have to go for another runway anyway once we get the other terminal in i think that's actually a sensible idea so what we're gonna do this episode is get another runway and get all connected up and then probably expand the ticketing and baggage area and maybe even security to cope with all of that but let's just see how it goes i've skipped that did teleport i'm sure that baggage car did teleport and they do spin around quickly i really hope that at some point we get like the little tug that tows them around but it'd be quite nice i don't know if, i don't know if you actually get them on the taxiway i don't know whether that's just going in and out of hangers the little tug type things or whether they do actually go under their own steam up to this anyway so, uh, yeah, uh, what do we need to do? So we need to up add the extra extra runway in and all the connections and stuff, things like that. But what I want to do first is something I've been forgetting to do for, like, a number of episodes now. And actually add a cue to these things here. It's something that I've really, like I say, forgotten about all this time. And I really should have added cues to this one. And um, many people have obviously been uh, quite upset that I haven't done it. So, uh, yes, I apologise for that. I'll uh, get onto this right now. So that one there, it's just assigning all of these cues here. Uh, or rather assigning all of the ID stands to a queue. Now you don't need a queue, which is why it's uh, worked out in the past. And these queues aren't even that big. But there we go. We might be changing this later on anyway, but for now that should be about right. We also added some... Um, the flight info displays on this side so they don't have to go back through security to check these uh, info displays. Overall, passenger satisfaction is 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 high. Airline interest is going up and as you can see, we've got loads of money because I've essentially waited two or three days just to get enough to expand. So I'm going to go to build and then over to... Actually, it won't be in there. It'll be in here. It'll be runway. Uh, runway. There it is. So where are we going to place it? Well, I was going to go down here, but I don't think so. I think I'll have it um, like that. I think that's probably the best place to put it, perhaps. Although, um, hmm, let's think about this one. Putting it there might not be the best choice. There might be a little bit better. Wherever I have it, I have to have another taxiway coming along. So it'll be in build and taxiway. One, two, and then it'll be there. And then have the runway here. I think that's the better choice, you know. I think that might be the better choice. Let's just check our gate and large, and it will be... Yes, it will run down here. So that is the better choice, having it there. Because then we have our gate large, which will go here. And then this will run straight across and across to there. And then in our objects runway, yeah, like that. That is, I think, a better one. So we'll put that in and we'll see how that one goes. Obviously, we're going to have to run a lot of taxiways down to that. And actually, probably that. Probably that is the way to go because we need to uh, have a taxiway all the way down to there. And then we'll have to put in the uh, ILS, the instrument landing system, as well as the um, the PAPI. Yeah, PAPI. Have all of that sort of thing. But once this is up and running, it should give us a better... It should give us... Um, better connections. Now, maybe we have to cancel that and move it along to the right just to get this connected. And if we if we have to, it's no real biggie. It'll just be 
like that, but we'll see how it goes. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time to get there because we do need a lot of money for it, which is why I waited several uh, days out of game because otherwise it would just be a nightmare just watching the money roll in. Uh, let's just have a quick check at our queues. We can see that people are queuing up for the desks, although it hasn't really... I don't think it's really uh, hindered or helped this, this entire thing, but anyway... There it is. You can see they're taking quite a bit of time to get this sorted. What I'll do is, as soon as... Uh, that doesn't seem to have connected up there. Now, maybe you need a straight one towards it. And if so, then this is going to be a nightmare to deal with it. But uh, we'll see how it is. We will go to build and then a taxiway. We do need to complete the taxiway. Two more, and then we should be okay. Oh, good grief, look at that. It's put, like, loads of connections in there. That's really, really weird, that one. Yeah, connect... Oh, look, see, it's, like, connected like that. Got all these like weird circles. Oh, I don't like that. That's terrible. Okay, what I might do is... Oh, there's nothing I can do. That's just how it's going to have to be. Alright, fine, fine. So, we'll wait for these to finish off. Um, like I say, we need to just get taxiways. Two more and then they'll all be put in. That's why this one is uh, got a standoff. It's not just connected because otherwise it puts these like weird circles on there. It should still work fine. It should still be okay. Maybe, however, it's best if I destroy it and move it over to the right. However, if I destroy it, what resources will I get back is the question. Because if I don't get loads of resources back, it's going to be a bit crap. Let's just des let's destroy it and we'll see what happens. Um, oh, I'm really, really... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to get back. This could be a lot of money wasted. I just don't like the look of that. I think it looks absolutely terrible. And yes, this is just a matter of like look and choice uh but it does remove it the question is whether or not it gives me the resources back and it does give me the resources back Oof. right we're lucky we've looked out <laughs> so that's fine so what we'll do is we'll connect the taxiway to there and then up to here and then this one will exit there and um, enter there so that is fine it, mean, it means that this area here might be a little bit cramped that's not really the right word it might be a little bit hectic at times so we might even put a connection here so it can come off the edge or maybe there be better so it doesn't go all over the place but we'll see how it goes so let's just check our security desk and see if that is working okay it is working as far as I can tell people are queuing up and such so that's fine we do need to expand our baggage claim area further down the bottom and same for ticketing although we are pretty much at um, our capacity now anything else was going to require a major expansion which is something we knew but the money we're getting is quite good now a couple of people have mentioned oh, hang on that's you see that there that plane actually landed and then turned back around so it looks like it doesn't actually need a connection on both ends or if it does need a connection um, it's only a ticky box to say yes there is definitely a connection it doesn't need to actually go off that end because you saw that landed then uh, did a 180 on the actual runway then turned back round which was interesting to say the least so anyway we'll finish that one off there get this in the night flight because at the moment I can't oh there, see they're actually using that other one runway now that's pretty good uh, in terms of scheduling what we can do and people have said this is we can have um, different like, in the morning, we can have other flights scheduled here. In the gap. Like, one scheduled here. Because these will never run over to this bit. I agree, actually. We could probably put an extra... An extra couple of flights in if we want. But only once we've upgraded this and then get more flights in. Obviously, that's going to give us a lot of money. Wow, there's a lot of people getting on board. There you go. Looks like no... I don't think anyone, any of them have con have cancelled the flight yet. No, it's all departed en route. Delayed en route, but failed to reserve runway. That's why we are building this runway. And to be fair, I find it very difficult to believe that they can't land. No, they're, they're just taxiing. I think it was just that little, that little bit there. But that's all in. So there's our runway. I do like the way that is. That seems to fit quite nicely. Obviously, they can land and then turn around and come this way. So that's cool. That's fine. Obviously, we need things like a runway lights. We need a, the PAPI and we need the ILS. So that's a lot of money to get that. But we should get it done fairly sharpish with the speed at which we're doing this. I don't know why they're not using this one. There you go. Well, at least they're taking off and they're not crashing, which is all good. Uh, still a lot of sick and such in the toilet. How many staff do we have to deal with that? We have three janitors. Let's go for... I would like to say... A f uh, I don't know about a fourth. Uh, they are getting cleaned, just not really the rate I'd want. 
See, there's not there's not really rubbish anywhere else. You know, they are, it is getting collected uh, from everybody else. Whoa, do you see that teleport? It teleported from there to there. Wow. <laughs> I know there's uh, several people that are not entirely happy with the state that the game's in, it being you know, very, very early on. That was my main concern when I did the preview, that actually, you know what, as, as functional as the game is, it is still a very a, a very early game, even even you know con even when you consider it, um, some of the games I feature, it is still definitely a case of alpha game as alpha, and it can it can show, well, a lot of the time. Why have they said arg? Why are they all arguing away? Uh, Cancelled filter reserve runway. Ah, yes, because this is at night time and we don't have the lights. We didn't have the lights, so yeah, we've built this runway, but because we didn't get the lights put in first, it couldn't land at night. That's all the problem was there, which is why all these people are now being pissed off and walked away. But we do have 60% airline interest, which gives us access to a lot of these. We could go for more in the afternoon and morning. 7:37. 140 passengers. I'm going to accept that and just test something out in the scheduler. So the 737, it was the uh, Atlantic Intel flight. So it's the... Where is it? There it is there. It's put it between 11 and... Between 11... Uh, 10 and 11. If we put it... Uh, if we put it like an hour after this flight, it means that even if they're delayed we should have enough room for this to land. And these should these are 45 minutes off that one. That should be okay. I think it is just a case of keep keep putting in all of the... Oh, there you go. Look, double landing. Do you see that? Cool. I think it is just a case of keep putting in the... Um, where do you want these lights? I guess there. Keep putting in the planes and keep scheduling them until it breaks. Find out where the breaking point is and then go back from there. You can only know where the line is once you've crossed it sometimes. Um, people have mentioned about these runway PAPIs, which are the uh, path, or oh, precision approach, path indicator, visual indication of pilots, their approach angle. Um, it just says place within six meters of runway. It doesn't say how many you actually need, so I don't know if we need more than the one. I have only got the one, obviously. But, uh, yeah. Let's put in this thing here, which is a um, the ILS, which is the instrument landing system. So then we've got another fully upgraded, uh, fully upgraded system there. And we can see now these are both getting used, which is quite good. And this is our three planes in in the morning, which, uh, if we go over to, hang on, schedule, is this one here. So the Atlantic should be in here as well somewhere. It is, is it that one? No, it's the 767. It's that one. It has to be that, I think that one's the Atlantic. I'll check status. Uh, let's check Atlantic. We'll scroll down. Oh no. Where is it? Schedule Atlantic int 737 arrives 1015 departs 20. Also oh, it hasn't has it arrived yet? Uh, not even on there yet. Don't think. Ah oh, well. So it's 11.20, and you can see that there's n this flight isn't in here yet. Maybe it just hasn't taken effect, because it does take effect from the following day, so that's probably all that's happened there. But anyway, nice little uh, nice little run I say little runway. It's a nice other runway, which is fine. That's probably our last runway. We could fit another one in down the bottom, and in fact, it's very, very easy to do so, and we probably will have another one at some point. So I'll have one there, one there, and then one down the bottom here with a connection at the top. That will also depend on the size of this. Let's just have a quick look at that. So we'll click on runway. And we see if we do put this in, it will be fairly large. And we don't want to expand the building um, further than further than essentially this area here. Oh, well, we'll see. So, 18 grand. Um, how is security? Security seems to be coping quite well, which is all good. I know people have mentioned these offices as well, about me uh, not connecting them up to the... Uh, Central section, I know. I, I will sort that out eventually. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not, if I'm honest. Nah. I don't think I will. I think connecting them up would cost money that we just don't have spare. You know, we're spending all our money on uh, more useful things. Anyway, for ticketing, I think it is important that we expand the ticketing areas. And what we'll do is we'll destroy all of these ticketing kiosks. Now, it does say destroy, but we're not... 
we will get them back. So we'll just destroy all of those. And once it is done, like so, we'll pause it a second, go over to objects, obviously type in tick, and then we'll get our ticketing kiosks, and then we'll just place them uh, all the way along here. Can't click and drag, sadly, but um, there we go. Cancel that one, go back, ticketing, and there we are. So... We've got those put in, and I will put in some ticketing desks. We'll put in three of those, and we're going to copy the same thing here, so we'll have a lot more ticketing options. So the queue will be from there, and it'll be along and up and round, and you've seen it before. It's essentially the same that's on the other, on the same thing that's on this side here, and it'll be that. There we are. So obviously we do need to assign to that one. This one will be... We have to sort of press escape. Assign to that one, and then this one assign to first class that one. Is that correct? They're all assigned, yes. And there's not enough people to staff it. So we're going to get one, two, three staff. That should be correct. Um, oh my good grief, there's a lot of people queuing up for some reason and not getting on there. What's happened there, look? See that? They're sort of glitched out. They've all sort of glitched out and are not moving over to the correct queues. And also what's happened is, because they're now com uh, using this one, their baggage is not getting collected. So we do need to do that and make sure the baggage is sorted. I will also put some decorative trees in like so, because it looks quite nice. And we will have our... Um, is it flight information? Yes, it's flight information board, which will go there. Yeah, you can see they're all going arg because essentially there's a lot of problems with the baggage and delays. And you can see the golf cart coming along now to pick that up, but yeah, it's already damage done, sadly. But once that's fixed, we should be alright. We should be alright. In terms of research, we could get upgraded buses, which I will get. It obviously is um, a lot of money, but we do have the money, and also that should hopefully reduce the traffic on this thing as well. Fantastic. There's a lot more arg there. Airline interest is now up to an all-time high level of 61%, which is good. You can see that passenger satisfaction is really, really poor, actually. Um, don't know why. Don't know why. There's a glitch there. There's nobody... Why, why is there no one staffing that? Let's hire two more staff. Look at that. They're not... That's glitched. Look at that. They're all stuck. What on earth is going on? Wow, that's broke. Yep. That is definitely broke. Okay, I'm going to have to remove all of ticketing. Like that. And then... Uh, not ricketing. Ticketing. Strange that you don't even need to put it on. Yeah, they're broke. They're stuck. They're all stuck. They're just going to not move ever. They're just going to stand there and get st and, and, and break. Yeah, look at that. Now they're all going to leave because they've missed the flight. Wow, okay. Um, I think we've encountered the first... Yeah, I think that's a game over state now. Yeah. Yeah. That is... Fairly catastrophic. I just will double check to make sure that these are assigned to the people that they should be. Yes, they are. But for some reason, expanding that has really, really done the game in. Uh, if we increase our ticketing to that, it might help them move a bit. No. No, it's not. Okay, what I'll do is I will have to go to queues, shrink queue, and shrink all of this queue and see what happens. And hopefully they won't get stuck in that corner. And if they do... Then we will have to alter it. Oh, there we go. It seems to be filtering a little bit better now. Um, perhaps it's just that corner that there was... I think it's a pathfinding problem, you know. I think that was a pathfinding issue. So, perhaps the best thing to do is disassemble these two. Actually, disassemble... Do I disassemble them? No, are they still getting stuck there? I can't tell. Mm, no, they do seem to be working, but let's just keep an eye on this. We might have to disassemble a lot of this. Mm, yeah, they're definitely stuck. 
couple of sprite glitches in there as well to do with the Z index, I'm guessing, because they don't, don't know which one to draw. They're all in the same layer. Hmm. Look at that. They're all stuck. And apparently there's 50 objects. 58. I'm waiting for them to leave, but they're not leaving. Some of them... There, there's an arg. There's a couple of args. Is they're upset and have to go. I don't know what the solution is here. Making money though, still. Still making money. Uh, the solution might be to simply redo some of these ticketing areas. See, they're, they're not glitching out anymore. They're going around to where they need to be. They're going to all of the different ticketing areas. Obviously, this is first class only. This is first class only. And then uh, your coach is these two here and this one. And technically this one. See, they're saying ARG. They would normally leave, but they're not leaving anymore. They're stuck there in seemingly some sort of perpetual um, loop. Like, they're not going to move. Destroying that ticketing booth did not work. Let's put in another ticketing desk in, which we can't because it's blocked by underground conveyor. I guess I'll have to destroy the conveyor first, which is a, an interesting quirk. Again, that's not working. Huh. Okay. Well, we'll demolish that one. Let's see what that word does. There we go. We can place that there. Uh, conveyor line. There we go. Cues. And then sign of that queue. So... All these people there, like 60 odd people in a big pile, are no longer glitching out. But that is still 60 odd people that will never shift from there ever again. So, I guess we'll try to continue on. Uh, <laughs> that's the same problem I had with the cafe, but, uh, you know, tenfold, where there was 900 people standing at essentially that, like standing right around there in one big pile. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's happening anymore, but it's not going to solve that problem there. Very strange indeed. Very strange indeed. Anyway, um, in terms of our like flights and stuff, looks like they're going okay. We'll go for status and uh, yesterday we can see that every single flight departed and landed on time, which is great. So we'll have a look at our schedule and we'll see, is there like a gap where we may be able to get another plane in? I think in the afternoon we could probably fit another plane in. I know I said this is overflow, but I reckon we could have one or two. One or two. So Aerostar has an afternoon flight of a Boeing 767 and it doesn't pay much though, so we'll see what else we can manage. Uh, this one has an afternoon flight of a 707. 180 max passengers in a 767. Mm, a lot of passengers. We'll go for a 767. And we'll schedule that. And that was the Ford Air. Which is... It said afternoon. And it's put it... There? Um, no way, we need the acceptance bonus. So I'll pause it a second. Runway usage, terminal usage, machine income, runway usage... Uh, Atlantic Intel flight, so it's that one, yes, and it's it's actually put it roughly where I would want it. I want it about there. I want it an hour after these, so that's fine. That should be about right. Uh, it looks like those people are, yep, they're still congregating. I don't think there's anything I can do about that, which is a great shame. Uh, we'll go over to build and then to foundation, and we want to expand all of this down, actually. Or do we get a bigger terminal? How much is a big term? We've got 131,000. Airplane gate, the large one, is actually not that expensive. Well, it is expensive, but we can put it in. Um, assuming it goes there. Well, we have we have placed it down because it's cheap enough. Where would we put the... Where would we put the other stuff? 
I reckon around here will be the choice. But assuming we are going to go for a, another runway, are we going to put it down the bottom? And if we put it down there, we would have to then have another... Um, ah, see, putting it here is problematic because we could put it right there. No, we can't. Um, having it here would give us an issue because it means then we'd have to connect it up like this. But worse is that what we would have to do is have the the line, this line here, directly next to it, which we got that issue that I had before that I didn't like. So then we'd have to split it up, which means it would actually be there. And no, so we can't even fit it in. We would not be able to fit in the thing I wanted. In fact, if it wasn't for just that little bit here, we would be able to fit it in. So we could actually delete the wall, but then that's a lot of work for another runway. So I don't think we'll go for another runway. I think two will have to be our absolute maximum. So foundation, and we could build like so. I do want to build essentially that. I want to build all the way to there, but that is a quarter of a million. That's quite a bit of dough, isn't it? Um... Or just under, uh, just under a quarter of a million. So, that's going to give us some bother. Looks like these queues have, I don't know if they have fixed the congregation issue. I think all it's done is it, it's made them line up uh, rather than stand in a big pack outside of the, uh, outside of this. So I don't think it's really helped a great deal. I think it just makes it look better. But, well, you know, that's, that's something at least. Like I say, their ticketing issue is still there. I don't know whether they are feeding into this satisfaction. I assume because they're on site that they will be feeding into that. So, yeah. Uh, in terms of our upgrades, we've got a full upgrade there. We can go for another lane, as I've mentioned previously. However, that will be a lot of money. Yeah, so oh, it would be silly amounts of money cancel that. I'm not even, I'm, I'm not going to even entertain that. I would love to, but no, it's not going to happen. So obviously this airplane gate is going to say it needs to have one agent desk assigned to it, requires a door to the terminal. Well, yes, it will, because we do need to have the foundation along there and across. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Um, I've got a bit of a choice here because we have got our first, I wouldn't call it a game breaking bug, but you can see that these guys are now, uh, they have a 45% there's no one else on site, but the because of these guys that are permanently stuck, it seems, their satisfaction is now, well, overall down to 45%. So that's going to noticeably bring down our overall passenger satisfaction, which in turn will affect the airline interest, which in turn will have a knock-on effect to our profits and just running of the game in general. Also, if this happens anymore, we could have some performance problems. Um, I hopefully i think this is fixed because of this extension and the other mess around but that's that's now a permanent feature i'm afraid also i'll need to skip ahead whatever we do because i won't have enough money to build this entire section down the bottom but i will sort of leave that up to you do you want to do that do you want to see us going for a expansion of the terminal well we've already got the gate but expansion of this down here and then put in a more a bigger baggage and claim area and then probably a cafe down the bottom that's the overall objective but that's probably another couple of episodes work i really leave it up to you and oh my good grief that's a lot of garbage going in that garbage truck either way i am going to see what how this goes i might have a do a little couple more tests um, let me know in the comments. This might be the last episode of this series so far. It might be uh, just the start of a bigger expansion, but uh, by all means, please let me know and we will go from there. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.